Hey guys, I'm Brittany Hughes. You're watching MRC TV, and this is your reality check. Perhaps one of the greatest examples of two faced hypocrisy in this country are leftists who hate guns because they say that they're a threat to innocent life, but ironically still support the barbaric practice of abortion. All last week, liberals raged against Americans' constitutional right to own and bear firearms, then turned right around and fought for the right to intentionally terminate a third trimester baby. So here's what's really interesting. Roughly 11,000 people die annually in gun-related homicides in this country, roughly 0.003% of the entire U.S. population. Abortion, on the other hand, ends the lives of nearly a million Americans every single year. About 13,000 of these abortions are late-term procedures in the third trimester, meaning a nearly fully formed child that could likely survive outside of the womb is poisoned before being torn limb from limb and pulled out of its mother in pieces. That is what happens every single day in 2017 America, supported by liberals who, when it comes to guns, supposedly care about life. The left doesn't care about life. The left cares about their own political agenda. They're all about defending the innocent and the helpless when it comes to grabbing law-abiding citizens' guns, but not when it applies to defending an innocent pre-born child who happens to be inconvenient, or a girl, or a baby with special needs. Where is the left's love of innocent life when children with their own distinct DNA codes and heartbeats are being born in toilets or sucked out of their mother's wombs in countless abortion clinics across this country, once every 97 seconds? Where is the left's devotion to defenseless humans when Planned Parenthood execs get caught on film laughing about selling eyeballs and organs from dismembered children? Half the country did not even know what a bump stock was before last Monday, and now you would think that they were the deadliest epidemic since the plague. But hundreds of thousands of living, moving, perfectly healthy children are being knowingly torn apart and tossed in dumpsters every day in this country, and somehow that gets a pass? So here's the bottom line. If you get upset about firearms that you can't even accurately describe, but you support the mass genocide of more than 60 million children, you don't love life. So stop pretending that you do whenever it's politically convenient. And that's your reality check, America. Subscribe to our YouTube page, like us on Facebook and Twitter, and stay sane out there.